Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying my videos I recently uploaded and hopefully you're picking up some good information, okay? Uh, I've, I've uploaded a few this week, so please take a look at them. See if that helps you out. See if it helps enhance your collection. Maybe you'll pick up some, uh, you know, good ideas or good information or pick up a coin that you want to collect from a different country. Uh, hopefully you're enhancing your knowledge on uh, what to collect okay and uh you know be sure that you're collecting wisely do your due diligence and do your research okay uh what i have here today is uh, a few more coins of world coins that i always like to collect not just me other uh, world coin collectors collect these coins always trying to get the best quality possible for your collection uh, there's plenty full of circulated coins. Uh, the circulated coins have minimum demand. You know, if you just want, if you were, uh, if you're budget minded and you do not don't want to spend too much money, yes, okay, collect a, a circulated coin. It's a good type of coin to collect, uh, and you're not, you know, uh, stretching your your finances, okay. But if you want to, you know go beyond uh you know uh, where your coins will increase in value uh not just say, stay stagnant okay but it grows as you grow in knowledge as you grow as a collector right then these are some of the coins that uh you know i have been buying and selling for my clients and they have increased you know i would say probably many hundreds of percent uh, above the cost that i paid for them okay so if you decide just to put these aside and you keep it for five or ten years uh, i'm pretty sure you will have a pretty good return on your investment it's a lot better than you know the one percent or two percent that you get in the bank okay or in the market it's more safe and uh, you know since they are widely collected you should be able to liquidate them, you know, in a short time. Or you can get it to a, a dealer that will buy it for more than what you paid for if you've held it long enough, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what I have here today is a few coins that I like. And I'm going to tell you why I like them. And based on that information, you can decide uh, your due diligence if you want to add them to your collection, Okay. And that's all I do. It just teach you some of the coins that I collect and some of the coins that have increased in value uh, because I've been dealing with them for 40 some years and I've been buying them many, 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 many times for myself and for my uh, collectors, okay? Uh, the first one we're gonna go take a look at is a very popular coin. Five coins here, uh, some is reasonably priced, some are gonna be very expensive. It depends how you look at the coin, okay? And where your budget is at. Uh, the first coin I'm gonna show you is uh, Dominican Republic coin. Uh, now these are still available. A lot of them are getting certified. Uh, 65, they're gonna run you two or $300. 66, I haven't seen a 66 or a 67 in, the, in this particular date. But it's the, this is the Dominican Republic uh, 1952 peso. Um, uh, this was minted in the U.S. Mint also. Uh, so very popular coin, widely collected. This one here has only a mintage of, of 20,000 coins. Okay. And a lot of them did see uh, melting. A lot of them did go to the melting pot and were, I wouldn't say circulated, but did see melting. Okay. You will see this coin a lot in uh, in AU or mint state condition uh, because they were they are later a later year 1952. Uh, so uh, you can get this, but as the you know the grades are higher, it gets more expensive. So an MS65 will run you two or three hundred dollars, sometimes even more, depending on how nice it is. Okay. And now this particular um, type started in 1939 and then the 1939 is the more rare of the two also has a mintage of 20,000 coins 
but the 1939 did see a lot of circulation being the first type circulated in the country. And of course, many were melted down because of the silver content, okay? So the 1939 is hard. I will, I will show you a 1939, uh, it's in my collection. Uh, it's hard for me to find a nice mint state because it's gonna cost me two or $3,000 for the 1939. <coughs> so if you can't afford the 1939, and of course, 1952 will do as well. Also a low mintage of 20,000 coins. And there's also 1955 that I like, a different uh, type, one year type also, and a 1963. But uh, 1952, you can afford uh, beautiful coins, pick one up. Uh, that is not as, pick, pick this date up, that be sure it's exceptionally clean of bag marks. Uh, so if you want to get one that's certified, great, but you'll pay more because it's being certified. Get one that's raw, and so you wouldn't have to pay as much. So like I have, I've got this one raw, and if I submit it to NGC or PCGS, uh, hopefully I'll get a 64, and maybe even a MS 65, and I'm not paying the price that uh, on the similar coin that's already certified. So, uh, you know, if uh, raw coin is a cheap way to go, by all means, do it, and then you can always send it in, okay, to get it certified. Uh, the reverse is uh, very nice and simple, coat of arms, nice luster throughout. It's just a gorgeous coin. So this is what you want to get on the 1952 Dominican Republic. Now, if you can get a 1939 peso in this condition, it'd probably be worth, you know, around $5,000, okay? But if not, uh, you can't afford the $5,000 for 1939, uh, get the 1952. <laughs> you can afford this either raw for maybe between 75 and 125, or if it's certified in 64, 65 for two or $300, okay? This one here, definitely a very nice coin uh, to add to your collection. Definitely, you're not gonna go wrong adding uh, this beautiful coin to your collection also it struck at the u.s mint in philadelphia so gorgeous coin so i've got many of these and i'm very picky and some are better than others okay so i'm uh, just gonna have the time to just to get it certified uh and that takes time because the turnaround time for pcgs and ngc is three to four months and that's a long long time to wait to get a coin certified if you have the time to wait that's probably good Okay, and don't uh, go crazy paying their rush service that costs eighty dollars for eight days. Okay, uh, just take your time, submit them, wait the three months or four months. But once you get it back and it's certified and it is a high grade certified, definitely you'll be a happy camper. Okay, beautiful coin, definitely one of the coins I always like to add to the collection. Uh, this coin here. This is a nice European coin. Uh, this is a nice German coin. I like the, I like this series. Uh, they're uh, basically uh, a good series of five marks uh, during the Weimar uh, uh, government. And of course, each of the state uh, created their own designs. Okay, so these are nice commemoratives. Uh, there is a version of three mark and the five mark. And they struck both in mint condition and also in proof. The proofs are extremely rare. Uh, but even the mint condition, uncirculated in high grades, are going up. It actually has already doubled in price. I used to buy these coins for like two or $300. Uh, now a regular uncirculated is running around five. And if it's certified PCGS or NGC 65, it could run even a thousand to $1,500, okay? So the, tra the, the trending is up on these coins. Very good uh, type coin to collect. I, I'm trying to collect the whole five mark series and the three mark series. Um, and of course, it does get expensive. So uh, just be sure that you have the budget for it. Uh, take your time, don't overspend. Uh, keep your budget intact. Uh, pick up coins the best you can. Uh, 
a lot of these coins are in mint condition. Uh, so uh, you will be paying at least, you know, three to five hundred dollars at least. That that's the minimum grade that you should pick up on these coins, and these coins will continue to increase in value because they do have a low mintage on the majority of these uh, five three marks or five mark coins for these uh, Weimar states. Okay, so very nice coin, and on the reverse, uh, their coat of arms. Uh, this is the Brummer Haven uh, version, so it's a nice coat of arms on this one here. Beautiful coin, nice luster, so you really can't go wrong uh, picking these coins up. So just do your due diligence and pick one up that is exceptionally clean of contacts, full luster, sharp detail. Uh, watch out for uh, fakes. There's a lot of fakes on this particular date, okay? So do your comparison. Uh, you know, on what you're going to buy and one that's certified. So you're not getting a fake coin. Okay, so don't get a fake coin. <laughs> I've seen many fakes of this particular date. Okay, and type coin. Okay, so just be careful. Very nice coin. Highly desirable. If you can pick up the, the series or as much of the series you can, definitely can't go wrong. And of course... I like Swiss coins, uh, and this is a very nice, what they call this, a shooting taller from Switzerland. Uh, this is one of the better designs, in my opinion. It's just gorgeous. Uh, low mintage, highly desirable. Each state created their own shooting commemorative taller. Uh, they did strike this in business strike and in proof. Uh, the proof is extremely rare. I haven't seen too many. Uh, but if you do come across the proof, a, a genuine proof, uh, it could run you five to $10,000, okay, depending on the date. Uh, this one here will come in nice, beautiful, lustrous BU, and even in proof-like. So this is a gorgeous coin. And uh, you know, be sure that the detail is there. Uh, detail on the hands, the arms, the, the bust, the hair, you know, the luster. That's what you want to look for in this coin. Uh, this date is highly desirable because of all the detail on the coin. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why I like this coin is because of the tremendous detail that uh, the design was put on the coin. Just a gorgeous coin. And on the reverse, also just amazing. Uh, you'll see this nice uh, city scene, nice frosted, you know, buildings, and nice proof-like skies or with you know, deep mirror fields on the upper portion or the sky. So, a gorgeous coin, luster. So this is what you want to get if you're able to find one. Uh, MS65 for these coins is going to run now two to three thousand dollars. They're really nice. A nice BU with you know some minor issues may run you three to five hundred. An AU uh, probably a lot cheaper. Uh, but definitely, if you want to see growth on the on this purchase, you want to get one that is at least mint state condition, just like this one here with nice appeal, nice luster, okay? Just a gorgeous coin. So this is what you wanna get on a shooting taller. It's a very nice series to acquire, but it does cost a lot of money. It gets expensive, okay? Very expensive, so uh, check it out. If you got a world coin catalog, look it up, and then uh, you can figure it out what you can afford and uh, pick up one or two for your collection. Gorgeous coin. Definitely, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, next one I like because of its uh, type is this Brazil uh, 1900 commemorative. Uh, they only struck a very small number of these coins. This one here I think has a vintage of like uh, 20,000 coins. But a lot of them did see circulation, uh, cleaned, and of course, uh, uh, normally these came in a set, 
uh, with also, this is a 2000 Reese. So you get the 400, the 1000, the 2000, and the 4000. So it's a very popular set, highly collected by world coin collectors. And of course, you know, the big coin, definitely the 4000 Reese is very hard. Uh, heavy coin, twice the size, just a gorgeous coin. But the whole set is a very nice coin, nice set to collect. But as far as the best coin to collect, uh, the 2000 Reese is, is the more popular of all the coins, okay? And it, it's the crown size, okay? The 4000 Reese is double the size of this. So the 2000 is very nice. So if you come across the 2000 with the boat and the birds, uh, seagulls, right? Definitely something that uh, you want to add to your collection. This one here continues to increase in value. Uh, they used to cost reasonable, uh, but now they are moving up in value because uh, people, uh, world collectors do collect these coins. And of course, the reverse is very nice with the wreath and the 2000 wreath on the reverse. Uh, sometimes uh, this, this coin here will have, uh, uh, I guess, uh, uh, lines, mint mark lines on there, okay? That is normal, okay, for this coin. Uh, just be careful that uh, that you're not picking up counterfeits because some of these coins also have been counterfeited. Uh, so do, do, do your due diligence and do some comparison. If you're not sure, uh, buy one that is certified. Uh, be sure you weigh it and be sure you test it out with a magnet. Be sure it's, uh, it's, not, not, it's non-magnetic, okay? The weight is good uh, and the size is good. And of course, if you've been handling silver or coins like me, I can tell offhand uh, if it's a uh, fake or not. But like I said, I've seen many, many fakes. And of course, I've seen many, many real coins, okay, to compare it with, okay? So this one here, very popular, popular coin, he highly collected. And I've sold many, many of the, that particular type. Uh, the last one I have here is a very nice uh, Spanish uh, Alfonso uh, coin, young, boy he young boy's head. Uh, this is the 1895. This one here is from Puerto Rico, okay? Uh, very popular one-year type, but it did come in types. So you can pick up the 40 centavos, the 20, and so forth, okay? In mint condition, it gets extremely hard to find, okay? But they are available, but you're, you're paying a couple of thousand dollars on true uncirculated condition. Many of the coins are cleaned, okay? So you have to be careful that they have nice luster and nice high detail, and you don't see cleaning lines on these coins, okay? So be careful. Uh, a certified one in MS65 probably gonna run you 5,000 or better. Uh, a regular, you know, 62, 63, uh, a couple thousand, okay? Be careful that this coin also is well counterfeited. Uh, so be careful that uh, you are getting a genuine coin. Uh, on the reverse, very nice uh, pillar with the crown and Isle of Puerto Rico. Okay, so this one here is similar to uh, the Philippines 1897. And of course, same thing with the, Spa uh, the Spain uh, five pesetas 1897. So all three of them have similar uh, look, okay? And the reverse look almost similar. So uh, if you decide to get the three, definitely it's a nice set to have with the same young face with Three different countries okay uh, just a gorgeous uh, set to, to pick up if you decide to pick up the three coins from Puerto Rico the Philippines and Spain okay uh, they will have something in common and of course if they they are all mint condition definitely uh, at least you have something to talk about okay uh, that's something that maybe I want to do later on and pick up a nice uh, five peseta 
Spain, 1897. I already have the Philippine in high grade and I have this one also. So I'm just missing the Spain, the Spain uh, version. But definitely this one here is a very popular coin uh, with world collectors. And these coins continue to maintain its value or move up depending on uh, you know the condition of the coin and uh, you can't go wrong on adding this uh, nice uh, peso to your collection okay um, if you're able to get it raw just be, be careful that it is a genuine coin okay do your due diligence and be sure to check it out if you're not sure ask somebody who knows okay so these are the five coins I would recommend for your collection. If you collect world coins, you can't go wrong with these five coins. High grade, uncirculated, minimum at least mint state condition, MS60, if you go by the grading scales, uh, but be sure they're uncirculated, lustrous fields, not clean, good appeal. Uh, that's what you wanna add to your collection. Uh, hopefully these five coins will at least uh, give you an idea as far as Dominican Republic, Germany, Switzerland, Brazil, Puerto Rico, coins that will grow in value in my opinion, that will maintain its value in my opinion, that will, you will be happy that you acquired them at a reasonable price before they keep on moving up where you cannot afford them, okay? Uh, just uh, maintain your budget if you can't afford them now, save up, save up your funds so you can afford the right one, okay? Well, if you like the information, uh, help me out. Subscribe to my channel and uh, like it. Ring the bell so you get notified when I have new uh, videos uh, added to my channel. And if you have any comments, by all means, send them to me. I will hopefully read them best I can and answer them as best I can. And enjoy collecting again do your due diligence before you buy be sure you pay a, a price that is reasonable be sure the condition is there be sure that it has appeal be sure that there is demand on the coin if there's the demand the value continues to increase okay don't waste your money let your money work for you okay enjoy the hobby till next time you have a great day